naturally you know where they'll be. I will see Uncle Moses at the gate. Yeah. And tell him, Uncle Moses, please. Give me one week exit. I want to go to the neighbor. I have some scores to settle. So keep this in mind. Today is a very warm day. Warm. Because of the many of you who've turned up here. I thank each and every one of you. The young and the old. The old fighters who laid the foundation. For those of us who inherited it. Disrespected some of you. But all the same, I'm glad today we've done honor to 31st in the Volta region. I am also very happy to see some of our older chiefs here. Take a good look at their faces and some of the Queen Mothers. These are the people who used to counsel us and give us advice. They are the ones who helped to sow the seed. Even though the constitution prohibits them from active participation, it does not say that they cannot give counsel. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a beautiful day in the sense that we've met here in our numbers. We can feel each other's chemistry and warmth. But at the same time, being the last day of the year and the day before we step into the new year, I believe much as we're enjoying each other's company, it'll have to be a time that we will have to make some little time to reflect on ourselves as individuals right or wrong right, right. we must think back how we've lived our lives over the years and especially this past year how do we intend to conduct ourselves in the coming year this is something we will have to reflect meditate think about as we go on as you're driving home tonight. At the same time, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who've traveled a long distance to come this way, while saying thank you and God to guide you back, please drive as carefully as you can and take yourselves back home peacefully to your families, your wives and your children and your husbands. Togbio. Mama o. Oh, sorry, Governor is now Chairman of Malafio. <laughs> Members of the Council of Elders at Holy. Yamo former President John Mahama. Oh, well, but he has not learned. Where's the lesson? <laughs> he has not learned the lesson of how not to be late for functions. <laughs> Each time they keep me waiting just because of him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh, don't worry, he will learn it. <laughs> Party executives, leading members of the NDC, cadets of the revolution, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to join you here in hope to celebrate the 36th anniversary of the 31st December Revolution. It is also heartwarming to note that sympathizers of the ideals of June 4th, 1979 and 1st December 1981 have traveled across the country to commemorate the revolution and give meaning to the theme uniting around the principles of poverty, accountability, and social justice. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a little break. I think it's only fair. He may be the leading candidate. He served four years and another four years as a vice. 
there are other aspirants who I believe are here with us. Let's bring them over and give them some two, three minutes each to look at their faces and hear what they have to say. I think, uh, who do we start with? Professor Joshua Alami. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, John, hey, hey, yeah, two hours. <laughs> oh, no. They were going to see you, okay? I'll be more interactive. We are meeting here today, and we are united, I can see so. But very often, when we talk, we talk about our own weaknesses. But I believe we all have something to offer our great party. And I think that we should start talking about what we can do for our party and the country. So today I'm going to behave like a pastor. Just tell your neighbor. I will not talk about your weaknesses again. Tell your neighbor. I will not talk about your weaknesses again. I will talk about what you can offer. I will talk about what you can offer. Because this is what we need to move our party forward. Everybody here has something to offer. And everybody here has a weakness. But if we move and work on our strength collectively, we can push our party there. I'm very confident come 2020, we are going to bring our party back to power. We have done it before and we can do it again. All we need to do is to respect our elders, respect our senior colleagues, respect the grassroots, and collectively, this party will come back to power. There's no mistake about it. I thank His Excellency for giving the opportunity to address my people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Spio uh, Leo Yabiana. I can see they are all sitting in the same line. Spion likes talking, but I think we should tell him to cut it short, huh? <laughs> Mr. President, two presidents, all put us observe. Very short. Hey, Yesu. Hey, Zaza. Hey, Yesu. So you know all the slogans. MFA, Mia, Mia, right? MFA. Hey, Joe. So let's learn another slogan today. President Rowling served two terms. President Buffon served two terms. President Mills didn't serve a whole term. President Mahama served one term. So Ghanaians are getting used to the possibility of a president serving one term. So what do you think? How many terms do you think Nana Pufado should serve? One term, one term, one term, How many terms do you think Nana Pufado should serve? So when I say MPP, you say one term. One term. MPP. One term. MPP. One term. Nanado. One term. Nanado. One term. And then when I say NDC, Mia Trova, we are coming back, right? NDC. Mia Trova. NDC. Mia Trova. NDC. Mia Trova. Now my ever colleagues here, they are very good at singing, but I can't sing an ever song. But I think there's a band here which can accompany us on a new song which I'll all learn to sing. Then I'll sit down. Do you know the song, Medofa Dadamio? That song. The song we are going to sing is Nanado Adadamio. Babumia Adadayenga. MPP ADN Arehua Yeba Betu. Nanado Adadami O Babumia Dadayen A 
MPP ADN, I will who are here by two. The musicians are not ready. Otherwise, we'd have signed Why are you coming now? I'm done. Hey, Joe. MFA. You've heard all the wonderful things about the 31st December revolution, about the June 4th uprising. The military have understood their roles in government and society. They are standing back and allowing civilians to make the difference. But if civilians do not learn the lessons of the past, we may end up with problems in the future. But the problems of governance and of corruption also begin with the kind of political parties we have and what goes on in there. So even as we try to clean governments through special prosecutors, information, uh, bills, etc., let us also begin to clean up what goes on within our political parties so they can become more accountable, all of them, to ensure the stability that President Rawlings and all those who sacrificed their lives June 4th and December 31st have brought to us. Ayezu! Ayezaza! Ayezu! Let me find out whether you remember the slogan. MPP! MPP! Akufuado! Akufuado! NDC! NDC! Thank you very much. Thank you. There are two more. Oh, but I didn't call you. Your Excellency Chairman Rollins, Sylvester Mensa is my name. Your Excellency Chairman Rollins, may I on this day salute you for the sacrifice, for the fortitude, and the steadfastness. We have gone through a number of statements and speeches that have taken us through historical accounts of 31st December. My greatest worry is this, that how do we make that the first December relevant to our modern day politics? How do we measure ourselves, whilst in government, against the values of probity, accountability, and social justice? And how do we measure the current MPP government and hold them to the test of probity, accountability, transparency, and social justice. We may be very quick in disassociating ourselves from some of our own against whom corrupt, corruption charges have been leveled. But let us remember that we have a, a historical responsibility to stand by our members who wrong charges have been leveled against. If we are too quick to just abandon our members against whom charges or allegations have been made, we will end up not having any member left in our party. Yes, let us associate ourselves from those who have clearly departed from our values and our principles, but let us hold fast to those against whom false allegations have been leveled. Why is it so? Why is it so? We are the producers. Why is this so? Why is it that when members of the major opposition party criticize the MPP government, they come quickly threatening us with prosecution? Why is it so? Why is it so? We are the producers. Why is it so? This song may not be too familiar with you, but back in those days, these were some of the key songs. We are currently experiencing an abdication of moral leadership in this country. 
we are experiencing a situation where Ghanaians who are legitimately employed are being dismissed, are being sacked to go home for other Ghanaians, ostensibly foot soldiers of the new patriotic party with virtually no qualifications to take up their place. Why is this so? Why is it that expatriate businessmen are being exploited in this country for political purposes? Why is this so? I would want to thank His Excellency Chairman Rollins for this opportunity and I'm being mindful of brevity. Thank you very much. John Mahama spoke as a former president. I guess we can invite him as a candidate. Ladies and gentlemen, there's another man called Ricketts. I was going to tell a story about the first time I saw him. And I think I'll drop it to the top. Look at this handsome gun here. Send who have a bar.